Hey guys, it's Alana here. I realised I haven't introduced myself in any of my other videos, including my 5 sauce experience one, which I probably should have. In this video, I just wanted to touch on a few little things that I just needed to get off my chest, so I really hope you enjoy it. I relate to 5 sauce. They're Australian, just like me. They are similar age to me. I feel like I've grown up with them on like a different scale. They play their own instruments, they can sing, they've improved so much from, for example, their Somewhere New EP to now with their Youngblood album. The improvement is phenomenal. They're getting so big, but yet they're so, still so sweet and so humble. They love their fans, they appreciate them so much because they know without them, they wouldn't be where they are now. Thanks to them, I feel like I've boosted my confidence a little bit. I've spoken to like so many girls either on Twitter or in person just because of them. I remember when they were in Melbourne last time, the amount of fans I just went up to and I spoke to is crazy. I've never done that before. I don't think I ever expected to do that, do that before. I'm now speaking to so many of these fans on Twitter just because of them, which is absolutely amazing and it means like so much to me. They've inspired me so much to continue on with music. I remember I just studied music in school, but I wasn't sure if I would continue it, but they inspired me to do it. They inspired me to pick up my guitar and learn that and practice that all the time, which I absolutely love. I remember a few years ago, I was in Year 12, and their Sounds Good, Feels Good album came out a few days before my final exams. So I, literally, I couldn't get it if I got it, it just would distract me. So I waited three weeks for to get the album which is probably the longest three weeks of my life and when I my last exam I got out and we drove straight to JB Hi-Fi to get the album and I'm pretty sure I probably listened to it straight away as soon as I got home I was that excited it means so much to me and I really I really hope they continue with their success I'll always love them I really will and they make me smile they make me happy more than anyone else. I don't know why, I'm just so like attached to this band. I actually felt that connection with anyone but them. So they do mean the world to me and I, yeah, I will never stop supporting them ever. Live so many times. Um, I remember 2000 and 13, I saw them support One Direction twice, 2014, 2015, three times, including their con show during the year, as well as I saw them Federation Square on for Sunrise, and that same day I was lucky to go to Nova's Red Room, which was absolutely amazing. And then I saw them, 2016, unfortunately, I missed out. But this year, I've seen them at the Five Source 3 show and the Meet You There tour. And I'm, as much as I want to see them, like, overseas or interstate, I kind of realised that not everyone has actually seen them live, unfortunately. Concerts can be expensive. And I really wish that these girl or these fans would actually get to see them live because they are absolutely amazing. Some people even saw them for the first time live this year, whether it was for the Five Source 3 show or the Meet You There tour. So it made me feel so like honoured and lucky that I actually have got to see them many times because I know some people haven't even got the chance to got the chance to see them or or just seeing them for the very first time. Band member is Luke. Now, they've got to admit, the blue eyes and the blonde hair did get me at the beginning, but there are obviously many other reasons why I do love Luke. He used to be so shy and so awkward and so was I, so that I had a connection with him. Now he's getting so much more confident, which I absolutely admire, and he's boosted my confidence. I love how he always supports his friends, supports his artists, other artists. He puts other people before him, which is like something I absolutely admire and love about him. I've read and seen like fan experiences where he likes to make sure the fan gets the, like the best photo they can, where it be the good lighting or good angle, and they can walk away happy that they got a, either a good photo, 
a good ex like a good experience, a hug, or anything they really want. And that's what I absolutely love. He get he goes out of his way to meet them, even if he's tired, he's not feeling the best, because he knows how much these fans have waited to either meet him or how much dedication they've put to making his dream come true, and even the whole band's dream come true by buying with merch, their music, and just supporting them in general. Luke has become such an amazing performer. He is now like he used to be like sort of hid behind his guitar. Now he's literally he's he let go he let go of his guitar, just him and the microphone. He gets the crowd involved, which is absolutely amazing. He owns that stage and he's done so incredibly well over the last few years. His voice has improved so much. Like his vocals are insane. When I heard like Young Blood and Want You Back, I was like, is this really him? Like. It's absolutely amazing to see the improvements. I'm so proud of him there. He He's obviously always been a good guitarist and I've always admired and I've always looked up to him in that sense because I picked, I basically, he was one of the reasons why I did pick up guitar. I obviously continue music after school, but guitar was always something, it was really hard and I didn't think I would do it, but see, he, he kind of inspired me really to pick it up, which I'm so glad about. And now I love love playing I love practicing and it's just so much fun he started learning piano which is absolutely amazing he's used his piano in his performances I was so happy when he used during lie to me and ghost of me ghost of you which is absolutely was absolutely beautiful live I really hope that he continues performing lie to me on the piano because it actually is really good and it's really nice to he hear even ghost of you like whether he he plays on guitar but he also runs the piano at the end, which is absolutely like amazing, um, his his smile, his laugh is so contagious. Like he is so beautiful in person, inside and out. I remember like seeing him in the flesh, like in real life, where there was like like when it was Marvin last time in Marvin last time at the hotel or at the airport, or even like on stage. Like he's so tall, but he's so like pretty in real life like if you've seen photos of him his smile he's just so like happy at the moment he's living his best life at the moment and he deserves to be happy generally genuinely happy and he just he's oh he's just amazing and i really hope i get to meet him one day he is basically is my idol really even though he's only a year older than me he's done so much for me and i really um he means the world to me and i hope I get to tell him that one day. He's even like my lock screen, my home screen. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever change it. I really like that photo. But yeah, that's that's why Luke is my favourite and I really hope I get to meet him one day. He is my absolutely world. my fastest experience video but I remember meeting them and it was one of the most like surreal experiences ever I was honestly trying to process exactly what was happening I wish I talked more but like I just in the moment I was like I couldn't think of anything else like I couldn't believe it was happening I was like is this really happening this is a dream this is a joke I've been waiting five years for this but like it wasn't a joke or a dream it was actually happening which I still couldn't believe one thing I forgot to say like in my last video is I remember like begging Luke to come over like he was just standing there and then he like walked away and I literally was like no Luke come back no I was absolutely like devastated I was sad it took me a few minutes to collect myself and then realize like okay because I turned around Ashton was there so I was got photos with Ashton Callum and Michael and I'm super glad thank you so much guys I was in the best mood the whole day you guys are so sweet such angels I generally will never ever forget that day. My lock screen is like still like this is my lock screen. You can't really see it properly, but I don't think I'm not sure if I actually will change it like ever. Or it will take me a while because it really was one of the best days of my life. I also remember giving Ashton these letters. They're kind of like loosely folded. I didn't really put them in envelopes, which is probably a bit stupid. They were kind of folded in my ja jacket pocket because um, I wasn't sure if I was exactly going to meet them so I didn't really put them in envelopes, I didn't really think to. 
So I gave Ashton the letters thinking that, um, so I was like, could you please give these to the boys for me? He's like, yeah, sure. Which, in the last video, I sort of was like, yeah, I'm happy they're not in my room. But at the same time, like, I really hope that he did give them to give it to him. I wrote my Twitter down, but, like, how do you even know they even got it? I don't know. Like, if I wrote down for each of them, my feelings, like, how much they all mean to me, how much they all have inspired me. Keep going, to keep going my music, to keep going, motivating me to reach my goals, etc. And why they are my favourite, like why I love them so much. So I really hope they did some, I read them. People I've spoken to was like, yeah, they, he pro they probably did. Ashton would have given them the letters. I don't know, I wish I sort of explained more what, the, what they were. So saying, just give it to the boys, I hope. He realised that it was for him as well. I don't know. For me, I really hope because it will make me kind of sad they didn't get it. I did take like a while to actually write those letters. I remember like I wrote them once, didn't like them, so I rewrote them again. Um, I've been wanting to give to them for ages. I remember last time that like Melbourne, I think it was May for the Five Souls 3 show, I didn't get to give it to them. So I thought, all right, this time I've got to give it to them. So I did and hope. I really hope they got it. If they didn't, oh well, there's nothing really I can do. I'm just grateful that I got the chance to actually meet them. I will never, ever forget that. If you enjoyed this video, um, I'm sorry if it was a bit boring. I really need to get some stuff off my chest. Um, and Twitter, like, I could just make a huge thread. I realised I had this YouTube channel. I really just wanted to, like, say it all at once. Um, if you could please like, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, also, if you see this, please share this video. This video means a lot to me and I really want to, like, my social media is down below. So if you could please, yeah, please watch, share this video and it'll mean the world to me. And I will see you guys soon. Bye!